All right, what is going on guys? Edward here back with another video. Uh, this time again, doing a little bit different on, on what I do. This is like part two of the previous video you saw about an indicator the Mamba effects dropped. And um, this is basically an alternative. This is not the actual indicator, but based on what I have seen on his videos, it's very, it's, I mean, I just happened to, to understand it very quick and it's very simple. He is just literally using a, a, an exponential moving average, a 20 EMA. Uh, it's just that it is a lot more flashy, a lot more colors into that stuff, but that's not necessary, to be honest. And, and uh, I actually kind of, I'm, I'm trying to improve it, see if it actually works. And this is going to be a strategy that is going to be completely here, that I'm going to share it completely. Uh, like step by step how you can use it and believe me you can actually make money with this if you really have a plan and you stick to only one strategy this is for people that maybe don't like trading order blocks or you don't understand smart money concept or you are looking for a strategy that is based on I don't know I mean just simple retail trading right just simple strategy and this is definitely going to help you and I actually improve it using another indicator and we're going to need three three indicators in overall okay <clears throat> now uh if you see my chart right now like very like what the hell is this all right let me just explain because at the moment this is basically my settings uh, on the chart on the normal chart is just because i i mean ah you will see what i'm going to say so we're gonna just, this indicator is CM. This is the indicator, you're gonna go here. You're gonna look for CM EMA. All right, so CM EMA is the actual indicator. This is the creator, all right? Save it as favorite. Once you have it there, you're gonna go on settings. Uh, uptrend, you're gonna select 20 because it is a 20 EMA. And I believe that's all. The color as well, you can change the colors if you want, but that's all, all right? When it comes for that indicator. What it does is this, okay? This is what it does. The colors, as I mentioned, you can change the color. So it's literally a 20 simple moving, uh, a 20 EMA, exponential moving average. Basically, the candles will turn red every time they are below the 20 EMA. And when they are above, the candles will turn green, okay? That's literally it, all right? Now, the other indicator we're gonna be using, which is the one that is giving you the signal to enter, to buy or sell, okay is the super trend all right when you go here just like that super trend i believe it's this one yeah i have I, there are actually two but it's this one try to select this one all right now as you go there um you're gonna see this is what i was doing i was actually playing out and tweaking the settings just just at the point that actually worked for me and worked for uh, what i am actually looking okay so i have it on two and seven okay you want to play out and just change that it's up to you it normally comes this indicator this uh, super trend it comes with these lines right with that line it, it comes with all of this you don't need that you really don't need that i'm going to actually hide this and hide this as well all i want to see is just that little dot right there because if i have this and this my chart is becoming look at that so it's looking I mean, with all these lines right there, it's looking a lot ugly. And I don't like having too much stuff right there. You see those big arrows, I know. Uh, you don't really need them, okay? So you're gonna hide that. You just need the little dot. This is the signal. This is the one that's telling you to sell or to buy, whatever the situation is, all right? Now, the third indicator is actually the RSI. You know, my favorite indicator, definitely the RSI. The settings that I use, just double click on that. This is how I'm using it. Gonna put these lines in the middle. I don't care if it's overbought, oversold, I don't care. All I need is the middle line, all right? Because I'm gonna be looking for one thing and one thing only. Now, this strategy is based on breakouts, okay? Uh, I also started as a, as a breakout trader. I love trading breakouts. And uh, this um, Clarity Algo indicator he, that, that he um, dropped 
is based on breakouts as well. He is a breakout trader as well. So basically what we're going to do is be looking for trends, okay? Trends. Whenever there is a breakout of a trend, the market will give you, the, the indicators will definitely give you the entries, okay? Um, there are a couple of rules you need to follow. You can find this in every single time frame, all right? Every single time frame you can use, you can stick to that, right? You can use them in, in, in currency pairs, you can use them in, crypt, in cryptos, pretty much everywhere, all right? So let's just go maybe on a lower time frame. Let's say we're actually scalping, okay? We're actually looking for some setups, all right? Also very important, and this is key right here because you have to trade during London or New York, okay? If you are, you know, one of those that trade Asian session, oh my God, be careful because Asian session tends, the markets tend to consolidate. I mean, if you're seeing a nice trend, I mean, you want to try, go ahead and try. Just do your back testing, right? Other than that, please trade only London or New York, okay? With that being said, that's it. That's literally it. Now, let's get it. I'm seeing a nice trend right here, right to the downside. What time was this that was actually happening? Four in the morning, five in the morning. This is actually London session. London session right here. Seven. This is still London session. Now, this when it starts pushing up at around 9 a.m. right now, this is actually New York, New York session. But look at what's happening. You, you ha actually had that little mini downtrend, right? Now, I use, I draw my trend lines this way with a double line. Okay, let's say you actually mark it up right here. I use a little channel. I pick the body of the candles. Okay, choose to join. I join first the body of the candle with the body of the candle with the body of the candle, right? And I leave a little space, stretch it out. All right, it doesn't really matter to be honest. If you want to do do a line, I mean, if it works for you, do it. All right, the channel doesn't really matter. What you want to see, okay, the price did break, but you see this time the indicator give you a signal a little late. You see, it's actually telling you to buy somewhere here. You also have to pay attention to the RSI. Okay, this is why it's important. You go on the RSI and the price has to be above the 50% on the RSI. If it's above, RSI is telling you to buy. The break has happened already. And the indicator, the trend indicator, the super trend indicator is telling you to buy. And the other indicator, the, the EMA, you are above the 20, simple, the, the 20 exponential moving average, right? So at that point, you can actually make the buy right there. As soon as that candle closes and you see the signal right there, boom, your stop loss is just below there and your take profit. This is the cool thing about this because your take profit is going to be, look, as long as the market is stays on green and is above the 20, like right here, it just, it did went above, below a little bit the 20, but the body of the candle never changed to red. This is what I mean. So you're not as scared to close it. When did it change? Actually, right here with that little one right there. That's the one that changed. So you can, at that point, boom, that's when the body of the candle is actually changing right there to red. Okay, that's your sign to get out. That's literally it. Okay? Of course, there's more rules to this. Once the market starts pushing up, goes your direction, maybe it's halfway up, or you're reaching a previous zone. Very important to understand. Uh, just simple price action if the market is reaching a resistance hey that's a zone for you to perhaps you know take partial profits move stops to break even and let it run right very simple rules if it's necessary to watch this video watch it a couple of times go let's continue uh with the with the setups so we're here for example we have a little trend to the downside right minor trend right there Market did break, land on top, but do you see any signal from the super trend? The super trend is not telling me anything, not telling me to buy. It's not giving me any signal here. Even though it did break, it did change the color. The RSI, it, it is actually above the 50%, uh, but there's one indicator missing and the super trend is not giving me any buy signal. At least I cannot see it here, right? So if I don't have all my confluences, maybe I'm gonna skip it, okay? That's why you have to write your plan. You have to have a plan. This is where a lot of people fail because you have the strategy. I'm actually showing you the strategy, but if you don't have a plan, it's not going to work, right? So your plan is, yo, I got to see all my confluences, but the three indicators has to be telling me to buy. If not, I don't enter. 
Or if I don't see all the confluences, I only see maybe two confluences, okay, maybe I'm gonna give in, but I'm gonna risk way less than I should. So maybe I'm gonna enter that break right there, or I'm gonna enter this you know, with that bigger candle. My stop loss is just below that candle, has to be below the candle. And I'm gonna hold until the first candle shows red right there, right? Of course, applying the same rule, the market is reaching a previous high, just make sure to take partial profits, move a stop to break even, all right, all this type of rule is very important. You see, there's always some sort of trends, little trends. Sometimes you're gonna find a very short little trend right there, just two touches, that's it, and the price breaks, see? In this case, look at that. The, mark, the indicator is actually telling you to buy, you see? You see the little green dot right here? It's get telling you to buy. It broke the trend, you're above the 20, you're above the 50, the 50 simple moving average, uh, the 50% um, percent on the RSI, so go, you can take it, okay? Like any other strategy, this is not gonna work 100% of the times, but if you're following and sticking to your plan, oh, you're gonna get some results there. Now, what happened here, all right? Same thing, market reached the previous high, you should be taking partial profits, move stops to break even, market started to go down, and with this candle, actually, this was the one that turned red, but by the time it was turning red, most likely it was stopping you out on break even. So guess what? You're out. But you took partial profits. That's fine. Cool. Right? Sometimes, you see this minor trend as well, you can get stopped out. I mean, I see the market is a lot of, it's consolidating a lot, and most likely, maybe I'm not going to get in here, to be honest. And look at the hour. Very important. What hours was this? 6.30 in the morning, well, it's, yeah, it's London, actually. But you see, they had that minor little push to the upside, right? Your entry would have been right there, your stop loss below. Take profit, you will hold a little bit. And you see what the market is doing. All of a sudden, it stopped right there, very violent, and came back, boom. Okay, that's a loss. All right, you take the loss. All right, you're going to try to find maybe better trends. Let's see right here. We do have a little, looks like a little flat or just a minor trend right there as well. Okay. Now, you see, price breaks the trend. It gives you the sales signal. It's below the 20. It's below the 50% on the RSI. There you go. Your sell is right there. Stop here and take profit. You hold, right? Market is reaching the previous low. All right. I'm taking partial profits. And moving my stops to break even and i'm gonna let i'm gonna continue holding to see when it turns green now boom this candle actually closed green so maybe i close it actually right there that's it all right sometimes the market will give you huge huge moves depending on the hour okay minor trends you can maybe skip minor trends if you want to look maybe for a much bigger trend you're always going to find something okay nice break right there continuation nice break you see there's always something there's always something little minor you see neither little trend to the downside right there All right just giving you the, the the more examples i can so price broke, started breaking. Actually, this is the one that give you the signal to enter. So boom, as soon as it closes, are you above the 50 kind of? Yeah, it's starting to climb. You are actually on top of the 50%. Great, stop just right there. Take profit, you hold until you start seeing some signs off. You know, the market is actually turning red right there. Boom, maybe that, that's, your end. that's your exit right there. And that's it, all right? So let's see actually now on bigger time frames. Let's see if we can catch maybe on a one hour a much bigger trend. And if I'm getting all the confluences I want, like there was a big trend right here on the red, right? To the downside, big downtrend. And let's see. So market gave me the signal with this candle. Okay, this kind of gave me the signal to buy. Are we above? Yes, we are above the 50%. We're kind of breaking the trend. Yeah, we are above the 20. Nice. Let's see. We go with the buy. Stop just below that candle. And take profit. You hold. 
You see, if you start seeing the market is just, what time was this? 8 a.m. in the morning. That's almost New York time. So if you start seeing the market is very indecisive, especially depending on, on the conditions of the market, what day it is, you know, you got scared, you got out, you close it. And make sure to, if the, I mean, if this is a big up, of course, on a one hour, if there is more pips in it, right? There's a lot more pips. So if you want to, I mean, if you see that this downtrend, this trend was huge, and you know that this take profit is going to be very far away, well, let's try to make some rules, right? Maybe try to aim for at least TP1, somewhere here at the first structure breakout, right? TP1, TP2, TP3, right? Depending, okay? That's why you have to build a plan. I'm showing you this strategy. I'm sure that if I stick to this, right now I'm trading only smart money concepts, but I'm just giving this away just for my YouTube followers, okay? If you want to use it, I'm sure you can totally make money with this. Totally, all right? If you have the plan, if you're even following the rules that I'm just explaining right now, which is very simple, all right? You can go in euros, you can, uh, I mean euros, you can go in okay, crypto, uh, cryptocurrencies, you can go on currency pairs, you can go uh, stocks, um, indices, right? Let's see, for example, right here today, there was a nice, there was a nice trend right here. I think it was on a 15 minute. So nice trend. Look at that. So I did not catch this buy today. I actually caught it uh, differently. Uh, but it was actually US 30. But this buy, no, I did not catch it. That's, I'm just showing this for the example. But look at the nice, boom, nice trend to the downside. Looks like a nice, if you clone it, it's, it's a bullish flag. It's just a bullish flag, right? So price broke, give you the signal there to enter. So you enter at the break. As soon as it closes, you enter, stop below. You notice that, yes, you are above the 50% of the RSI and you are above the 20, everything is green right there, boom, price start pushing, breaks previous high, take partial profits, move stops to break even, you do your, you know, do your thing, if you wanna continue holding, the market is giving you really nice profits right there, you should be taking more partial profits all the way up, don't be greedy, and just hold it just because you want this thing to reach the sky, not all the time it's gonna be like that, so, boom, market retraces, it closes below, that's your sign to get out maybe and close everything, okay? Because that's the sign that maybe the press will now return. So with that being said, that's pretty much it with this particular strategy, guys. Let me know what you think, okay? Uh, just try to improve it a little bit. And it, it is actually not the clarity, uh, the clarity algo indicator but is the alternative. This is a free alternative with free tell, um, uh, trading view. You can actually use three indicators, which is the RSI, the super trend, and CM EMA, which is a basically a 20 EMA. But in this case, this, this, in, this particular indicator will allow you to change the color of the candles, which is mainly the, the focus in here, because it's just, you're gonna see less noise. That's what I'm trying to say. You're gonna see less noise. So the price is bullish, and it, it maintains on top of the 20, it will always be green, okay? You're seeing little red weeks, that's because I did this, right? Because my weeks on my actual charts, and on my actual chart, without the indicator, I turned them, uh, I put them actually red when they are bearish and green when they are bullish. So I can see at least, right? It's giving me a signal, right? This candle, I know this is actually a bearish candle, this is not a bearish candle, this is actually a bullish candle. This is a bullish and then this is a bearish candle. So I can still see some of it. You know what I mean? It's not necessary. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. It's just my opinion. But just test it out. Don't take my word for it. This is completely free. You can test it out. And I want to hear from you guys if it's actually working. All right. And that's pretty much it. If you're new on the channel, please subscribe. More videos will be coming in. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.